In today's time, everyone is aware about the ongoing Russia-Ukraine crisis and the ones who are suffering the most are the civilian population of both the countries. But now, a positive turnaround has taken place. Both Russia and Ukraine have separately agreed to start the export of grains again. Hello and welcome to the In Focus series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video, we will be talking about the grain export deal signed by both Russia and Ukraine separately. So, let's see the timeline of the video, what all we will be studying. First, we will be looking at the news, then why grain export deal has been signed by both the countries separately, then what is the grain deal, why was movement of grains halted or stopped after the war, Russia and Ukraine's role that why are they so important when it comes to the export of wheat or grain, then the consequences and the significance of wheat exports for India. In the end, we will be looking at a prelims MCQ. This topic is of relevance from J General Studies Paper 2 and Paper 3, that is International Relations, Agriculture and Food Security. So, from exam perspective, it is important to know that why, uh, what are the reasons for the war and what is the consequences of the war or what will be the role of India in it. So, let's see the news and this news has been taken from the explained section of Indian Express and it says, what's the significance of United Nation bagged grain export deal signed by Russia, Ukraine? So, there are two components in this. First is the grain export deal and second is the Russia-Ukraine. So, let's see. This is the map of Russia and Ukraine. Russia's map, uh, I think people would be able to uh, locate Russia in the world map. It is the biggest when it comes to the land size. But see, this is Ukraine. And Ukraine share its borders with many countries and it shares a large border with Russia. So, see the bordering countries of Ukraine is Russia, Belarus, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Moldova, then it comes Romania and then it also shares its borders with the Black Sea. See, this is the location of Ukraine on the world map. These are the bordering countries of Ukraine. Now, let's see that what is the news. So, it has been said that Russia and Ukraine have signed separate agreements. Together, they have not signed it or, it ha or the agreement has not taken place between Russia and Ukraine. Both Russia and Ukraine have separately signed the agreement with Turkey and the United Nations. And the aim of the agreement or the agreement is about the export of Ukrainian grain and Russian grain and fertilizer. As Ukraine is famous for its grain or the export of wheat, while Russia is known for grain and fertilizer. Because after the war started, what happened was because that both the countries were on loggerheads with each other, the export of wheat or the export of grain or fertilizers stopped. So, because of which there was an issue of food security around the globe. Because many a country which are the or you can say the African continent or the least developed countries are very much dependent on the uh, Russia and Ukraine export of grains. So, the uh, United Nations General Secretary Antonio Guiters has said that a beacon of hope, a beacon of possibility and a beacon of relief in a world that needs it more than ever. So, there is hope, there is possibility and there is relief after this news has come out that both the countries separately have agreed to start the export of grains again. Now, why the grain export deal has been signed? What is the reason for it? See, the reason is that Ukraine is one of the world's largest exporters of wheat, one of the largest exporters of wheat, corn and sunflower oil. But after the Russia's invasion into Ukraine or Russia's aggression towards Ukraine, what happened was this 
export of wheat corn and sunflower oil stopped because they were the ports uh, of ukraine was targeted by russia and there was uh, the black sea ports were all blocked by russia so the export could not take place but the same goes with russia also russia was also not able to export the wheat or the fertilizer then the naval blockade of ports so both the country's ports was also blocked and the prices of vital uh, commodities like wheat and barley have soared so because of there was no export from one of the biggest exporters of wheat fertilizer and sunflower oil what happened was there was uh, the commodities or the vital commodities like wheat and sunflower oil the prices of these extremely soared away they extremely extremely increased to new heights and people were not able to buy them easily so it became extremely expensive for people to buy them and especially in nations which were totally dependent on the ukraine or the russia export they suffered the most and one of the examples is the african continent uh, see before moving forward look at this image this is the black sea image so uh, in this russia ukraine war black sea has played a major role so if you will see that black sea shares its borders with both russia this is the russian border while this is the ukraine border ukraine uh, shares its southern border with black sea so the countries or the bordering countries of black sea are russia ukraine romania bulgaria turkey and georgia so there are six countries which uh, border the black sea so if you will see see this line or this border of ukraine so ukraine shares a big border with black sea and their ports are also lying in these southern areas also so what happened when russia attacked ukraine or russia showed its aggression towards the ukraine russia also blocked the black sea area where the ports of ukraine were lying so it became very difficult for ukraine to export uh, the wheat or the sunflower oil from their territory and same goes with russia also uh, russia also could not export as Uh, many uh, as the european union or the nato nations has put sanctions over russia so now let's see that what is this grain deal that we are seeing in news see this grain deal what it will happen is because of this deal there will be a safe safe passage of ships from both the countries so both the countries ships can move easily and safely and the control center will be established in istanbul uh, both the countries will not have the uh, control center then it and the control center will be staffed by united nations turkey russia and ukrainian officials so all the four countries which are involved in this will be having their officials in the control center and the ships would undergo inspections to ensure they are not carrying any weapons as because the russia and the ukraine are uh, at war with each other so both the countries have this problem that any country can also send weapons through these ships so inspections will be done in this and no russian ship would be escort vessels and no russian representative will be present at ukrainian port so at ukraine port russian representatives will not be present and ukraine have said that if there will be in case of any kind of provocation from the other side if there will be any activity which they will find as suspicious then they will be allowed to take immediate military response the important word here is immediate then the ukraine will be taking the immediate military response in case of provocation then why was movement of grains halted what happened that the movement of grains was stopped or it could not take place as smoothly as before so see what happened was 
यूक्रेन फेलिंग टू रिमूव सी माइंस एट द पोर्ट्स टू अलाउ सेफ शिपिंग दिस इज व्हाट द रशिया वाज सेइंग दैट यूक्रेन फेल्ड टू रिमूव सी माइंस एट द पोर्ट व्हाट हैपेंड दैट रशिया सेड दैट यूक्रेन हैज यूक्रेन हैज बिल्ट अ सी माइंस एट द पोर्ट्स एंड दे आर नॉट एबल टू रिमूव दैट दोज सी माइंस सो दैट सेफ शिपिंग could take place and then what happened was then ukraine said that russia's port blockade that russia has blocked the ports of ukraine and launching of missile from the black sea what ukraine said was that russia has blocked the port and they are also launching missiles from the black sea they need to stop this if export of goods or grains need to start again then uh, ukraine also accused russia of stealing grain from eastern ukraine so uh, ukraine has also said that russia is trying to steal grain from ukraine and deliberately shelling ukrainian fields to set them on fire so the ukraine is saying that russians are trying to uh, show uh, negative things and by doing things which are not legitimate they are trying to put them down by uh, deliberately shelling ukrainian fields and stealing their grains uh, port blockage and launching of missiles from the black sea so this is why the halt of export took place see this map see this is ukraine's border this is sea of azov and this is black sea black sea we just so uh, okay you need to tell me that which is this uh, strait through which sea of azov and black sea connects this is also your uh, prelims question for today your practice question see this is the ukraine and if you will see this southern part of ukraine this is the part where most of the ports of ukraine are present see this is maripol then this is odessa these are a uh, few of the most important ports as ukraine have around 4 to 5 port on its southern side and which op also opens in the black sea and this is also uh, berdyansk so these are the major ports and uh, if uh, you people must be following that what is happening between the russia and ukraine so we all know that the uh, maripol city was taken in very early stages by the russians and they also attacked the odisha site also so that the ports of ports see ports are considered to be extremely important important communication channels and they are very important for our country for its communication so uh, the ports of the ukraine was not able to work efficiently then what happened was now see what is russia and ukraine's role in the global economy that why are they so important or why are they one of the uh, biggest exporters of grain then together russia and ukraine export 75% of the world's sunflower oil two countries alone are exporting around 75% of the world's sunflower oil and nearly 30% of the world's wheat so these these two countries are the power houses when it comes to the export of wheat and the sunflower oil then they russia and ukraine are also among the top 5 global suppliers of barley and maize so it is not only sunflower oil or wheat barley and maize are also there then russia is also the world's leading leading is the word to fo focus then russia is also the world's leading fertilizer exporter many countries in africa are totally and completely dependent on russia and ukraine's export of wheat or sunflower oil for the supply of wheat oil and even fertilizers and millions of tons of food grains is just waiting to rot in the face of russian blockages 
see what happened when the war started between russia and ukraine there was a large or i would say a huge amount of consignment which was kept at the ports which needs to be moved out for export but it could not go out so the amount of consignment which was lying on the ports is uh, was lying uh, like ideally there was nothing which could be done with it and now they have now seeing the uh, global situation that uh, without the export of uh, russian or ukrainian wheat or sunflower oil there is i would say hunger crisis going on in other least developed countries take example for say uh, the africa continent there are huge huge crises which happened because they are totally and completely dependent on russia and ukraine for their imports now see what was the consequences for the stoppage of export was there was global hunger as i've just discussed and there was import dependent countries of africa the prices of food stables reached levels never seen before and it also started inequality hunger and poverty because the prices that it reached people did not have money to buy those uh, staple food diet which they want to have in daily use then according to united nations food price index food commodity prices increased 12.6% from february to march 2022 then it is considered to be the sharpest increase in prices since the 1990s then world food program has warned that acute hunger may increase by 17% globally this is what the impact of stoppage of the export of grains had took place on other continents which are dependent on ukraine and russia now let's talk about the significance of wheat exports for india how can it the wheat export help india first is the net forex earner see if india will be exporting more and importing less what will happen the current account deficit will decrease and there will be more import of forex reserves in the country then second comes the goodwill image of india see india is producing enough for itself when it comes to wheat but we are one of the biggest producers but we are not one of the biggest exporters because we keep it for our country's use so we are not we are the biggest producer but not the biggest exporter of wheat so if india will be uh, exporting more then there will be goodwill created in india's name then cost competitiveness while there has been a surge in the global prices india's wheat rates are relatively competitive as compared to other rates then it also helps in diversifying the export basket of india now let's see the last slide for today as i have already told you that what would be your practice question for today so this is the practice question that you need to solve and you need to tell me the correct answer in the comment section and the question reads the black sea and the sea of azov are connected by which strait so which is the strait which connects the sea of azov and the black sea is it a gibraltar strait b strait of malacca c bosphorus strait and d kerch strait so let's see how many of you can actually tell me the correct answer of this so that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing